All right, everyone, welcome back to the project. Hey, folks. So we've uh, been just kind of chipping away on this and that the last couple days. Yeah. Um, so we got our stringer in and been tabbing that in the last couple days. Uh, kind of slow going, but it's kind of expected to. It's uh, something you can't really rush, so. Um, that's going good. I've got my last pile of, uh, of material here for the last little swath. And then that side will be all tabbed in, which is pretty exciting. And um, then we can finally start tearing out that ugly other side. Yeah, yeah. that'll be nice to get out of there and yeah. uh, get the next one laid out and everything, get it measured out. Mm -hmm. Got the pieces over here laminated already, the leftover uh, cuts from the port side, so we'll be able to utilize those on the starboard side. Uh, things worked out really well as far as measurements. We'll have a little bit of waste out of that, but uh, not too much. We should have some long strips left over that we can utilize in other places. Yeah, it's actually kind of amazing that it worked out the way it did. It's yeah. perfect. So. The stringer came out great. It is incredibly solid. Uh, if you kick it, it barely shakes, like it barely wiggles. Yeah, the stringer itself, you actually feel the reverberation through the, through the boat down there. <laughs> yeah, if you kick that old stringer on the other side, it will literally move about a half an inch <laughs> in places. <laughs> and so, um, it was the right thing to do, without a doubt. Yeah, very happy that we ended up doing it, even though it was, uh, uh, pushing our timeline back, but it's worth it in the end. Just not having to worry about it or deal with it later, which yep. is what we'd have to do anyway. So. Yeah, we kind of, going into this project, it was pretty much anticipated that we'd be doing this. Uh, I'll hop down here and show you guys how it looks. So, we'll get going. Yeah, so here's the tabbing. Uh-oh. Laminated in a pencil. No, just kidding. It's fell in there. So a few bubbles here and there. They annoy me, but <laughs> it's fine. That, that generally happens, well, not generally. It, it does happen when you laminate up some stuff and then you go home. Yep. If you sit here and babysit it, it's fine. Yeah, you'll see them appear and you can take your roller and, and wet them out again, stick them to the back of the substrate. But yeah. But like Dad says, you go home or you turn your back for one minute and it kicks off and then you're just stuck with bubbles, so. Anyways, it's really not a big deal. It's just the, the matting over the top and we'll just slap a coat of resin over the top of it to make sure it's sealed and the water can get in there and start to uh, find a crack and freeze expand because, you know, there's a good chance that this will go back in the service of the freezer boat at some time. and. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're protecting everything that we can. Uh, these are the, so beginning of the bulkhead support. So we got these cut and fit. Oh, now they don't fit because there's tabbing there. Yep, I'll have to knock a <laughs> little bit of tabbing off of that. Those will go in there like so. Tie into the bulkhead right here. Um, this area right here will become a sump for the back fish hole, and we'll have a, a pipe going through here. And then also uh, there's a forward brace right there, which is basically the height of that sump will go down to the top of that uh, piece of foam right there. I'll put in a couple more pieces here and uh, we'll drill a hole for our, our uh, drain pipe for the, for the rear fish hole to go through there and then it'll pop through the the engine room bulkhead up forward and we will tie it into a pump when we get to that point. So our plan is just to go in here with some Schedule 80 PVC pipe. That stuff is extremely durable and shouldn't cause any problems whatsoever. Yeah, so there we are. Um, this is where we're at. Things are coming right along. Once these pieces are in here, uh, we'll start progressing on this bulkhead. We can start working this side down as where we're starting to to tab in this stringer here that I'm sitting on. Yeah, that's and actually ex an exciting thought right there because then it'll start looking done over there. Yeah. 
It's somewhat done anyway. And we'll probably just start on like the forward end there, and as we're tabbing it, we can start fitting out the cover on this. We'll need to put some cross bracing between them um, just to help spread the load over a bigger area. But uh, yeah, it's going to be nice to see that start to come together. So I also taped up our seams. This is where we connected the panels to. Yep. So yeah, uh, just use the same layers we did on the rest of it and it turned out pretty good. Pretty flat. Yeah. Little lump. So you can see with the, the tabbing coming up the hole now, that's built this panel up even more. Uh, this tabbing is basically the equivalent of this middle layer right here. Mm -hmm. It's two layers of 45, so we've added over an eighth of an inch to the thickness of this panel again, essentially on both sides, at least the lower portion of it. Uh, once we put new concrete in here and we put the fiberglass pan on the bottom of this, that'll build it again a little higher right here and then the tabbing coming down from our covers on the top. We should end up with uh, probably close to about a half inch build on the inside of that when we're done with it. Yeah. It'll be good and stout. Yeah, for sure. well over three eighths anyways. It'll be plenty stout. We're not going to have to worry about anything. When you compare it to this right here, <laughs> yeah. I think we're uh, just a little bit stronger than it used to be. Yep. There's a little kick test on it. Yeah. Man, that's some movement right there. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty worn out. It was stronger when there was cement holding it in <laughs> and foam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a good move. Yeah, there's an incredible amount of strength in here. You've got a lot of compressive strength, the way these are laid up, and then you have it tabbed in. Um, these don't wiggle at all. And uh, they'll only get more, more stiff as, as you put foam back in here and concrete on the other side. We'll stiffen them up every even more so it really does create a, a good backbone in here again. Demo begins on the second stringer over here. I just finished glassing in uh, the last of tabbing on our first stringer and uh, would have been plenty of strength beforehand but got the, uh, the clean work out of the way before we start getting a bunch of uh, black wood and grease wood and old glass all over the place. So yeah, um, just uh, sawing into this this uh, bearing block here. I'm gonna try not to disturb that middle part. Cutting a chunk out of this, chunk it out with a hammer. Cut that seam right there, and this whole uh, back beam should come out in more or less one piece. So yeah, uh, start the messy work here. Oh yeah. That's the chunk of hardwood right there. Holding on the fiberglass here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Easy counting removal. Yeah. Yep. I'm afraid that was a poor bond. See Not where there's gel coat? Is that gel coat? That was gel coat. Yeah. I think they put it right over the top of the gel coat. They might have. Do I see that in there? Under the under the tabbing on the bottom. Oh, down here. Yeah.
A slight struggle. <laughs> kind of awkward trying not to drop our uh, rotten old beam on our nice new stringer, but just a big, heavy, awkward piece of timber. Now in pieces. Well, that, that chunk came out no problem. I just uh, Stuck the pry bar in here and lifted this up over it and the whole thing just shifted out. So it really wasn't doing very much there. There wasn't any bedding compound on the bottom as we knew from the other side. And to be honest, I don't really know if it'd do much for it anyways, just because it could have been green wood or who knows. Yeah. So, unless you really prepare your wood good and it's good and dry, a uh, bedding compound would probably just break away over time and be like a dry joint. But Yeah, generally speaking, it's pretty hard to get a good bond wood under the best conditions. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, got this uh, 
ugly thing out of here, finally. It's been ripping up my trousers. <laughs> so, um, get this, get this fiberglass out of here next. Maybe I'll vacuum up first to get all this wet wood off the walkway and keep from tracking it in everywhere. So we got the last the uh, old stringer out. Just had that last uh, laminate to do this morning. Pulled all the heavy wood off yesterday. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It tore off there as expected pretty easily. So um, now we just gotta scrub all this up again like we did the other side. Soapy hot water. Get rid of all that grease and gunk. There's a few extra pieces of matte material that run up under the concrete, just a little bit up there I'll chip away at. And then we're gonna cut our uh, fiberglass there to re reveal the foam and the deck stringer and start excavating that stuff. And then that side will be ready and that'll be all the heavy demo finished start drying it out up there. I think I'm also gonna take off these uh, these brackets that held the uh, the bin boards in because this will all need resealed and uh, glassed up actually. It's just a, I think it's pretty much just a layer of mat or something. And I don't think it runs all the way up. There's like a two by four topping that three quarter inch plywood there. And we're not getting rid of these like we did the, lap, the back ones. These are, these are perfectly fine. So they're just separating these two areas of the fish hold. And then there will be bin boards, of course, dividing all the other, uh, binning it all up, basically. Yeah. To keep it all contained in its own space. There's one that goes um, across to. Yeah, there's one that go like this. So. Mm -hmm. So that just prevents your load from shifting. But yeah, it's, uh, 
it's coming along. Our goal is at least to get this all cleaned up and prepped and then be ready to, to start installing the next stringer. Once that's in, then things will start to kind of move forward a little quicker. Scrub it up with uh, joy soap. Try and get all the oils and dirt and dust and everything off the surface. Uh, I'm gonna go go over it again um, one more time with a fresh bucket of soapy water and then give it a good rinse of fresh hot water. So um, yeah, and then that'll be this side done. Well, not done. Uh, come down with a grinder next and. Prep the surface that way, and uh, yeah, just get rid of any leftover flappy uh, fiberglass that's still there from the tabbing. And I think there's like some resin right there from where the uh, where the stringer was sitting on top of it. So clean that off there, and yeah, should be good. Good and prep. I think we'll. Probably start on this next. Just keep going on the demo here. So that's where we're at. fiberglass and foam. Fun time!